pray for Hollywood. As God is my witness, I'll never be hungry again. Oh, hello there. I am Stan the Movie Man, and this is my review of Uncut Gems. It stars Adam Sandler, Julia Fox, Adina Menzel, Lakeith Stanfield, Eric Bogosian, and Kevin Garnett, amongst others. It is the story of Howard Ratner, a, uh, a, a jeweler in the Diamond District in New York City, and an all-around awful person. Uh, he's having an affair with Julia, who is played by Julia Fox. She is an employee at the jewelry store and his lover. Uh, he actually keeps her in an apartment uh, in the city. Um, his wife, Dinah, played by Adina Menzel, is aware of the affair and she plans on divorcing him uh, after Passover, but uh, he keeps trying to delay it. Um, a big part of Howard's diamond and jewelry business is dealing with athletes and celebrities, and one of those athletes is Kevin Garnett, who plays himself. Uh, he is brought into the, um, uh, di the uh, jewelry store by uh, Damani, played by Lakeith Stanfield. That's kind of his job, is to bring in celebrities, and he gets a cut of the sales. Um, uh, Howard has um, purchased a raw black opal from Ethiopia. It's still embedded in the rock, but it is a beautiful stone, a beautiful color, and he plans on selling it at auction. Now, he needs this to sell for a lot of money because he is in deep with loan sharks and bookies. The main loan shark is a guy named Arno, who happens to be also his brother-in-law. Uh, and that is played by Eric Bogosian. And there are a couple of um, uh, Arno's uh, muscle that are trying to scare Howard into giving uh, the money that he has borrowed from Arno back. It makes it very uncomfortable at the family gatherings when your loan shark uh, and the guy who is threatening to kill you uh, is, is sitting across the table from you. Um, he's going to auction off this giant opal, but things get complicated because Kevin Garnett sees it and uh, he asks to hold on to it for a while because Howard's sales pitch to him is so emotional that uh, Garnett says, uh, I have a connection with this opal. I need to, I need this thing for good luck. And that sets off a whole series of of problems and issues uh, that uh, eventually leads to a conclusion. Um, let's see here. There's a lot of talk about Adam Sandler being nominated for an Oscar for his role in this film. He deserves consideration, but I'm not sure he deserves the nomination because this character is very much like his comedic characters, just toned down a little bit. He is a BS artist, uh, Howard Ratner, and uh, that has been a staple of uh, Sandler's career. Uh, the fact that it's darker, the fact that it's grittier, the fact that it's more violent. Um, granted, we see Sandler do things in this role that he, he hasn't done in um, many of his other roles, but um, I'm not sure it's that special a performance. And the movie itself, while it's very well made by the Safdie brothers, the directing team, um, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a movie filled with awful people. Um, even Howard's children are terrible people. Uh, Garnett and uh, a cameo by The Weeknd, the singer, play, again playing himself, um, they don't come off as particularly good people. Uh, about the only person who maybe qualifies as good is Adina Menzel's Dinah, uh, or Dina. I, I had a hard time understanding what he was calling, him, calling her. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's filled with 
awful, ugly people doing terrible things, things they know they shouldn't do. And it takes a while for anybody to pay the price. And it's, it's kind of an anti-fairy tale. Um, and I was interested in what was going to happen next. I, I was uh, fascinated by this entire sort of subculture of um, celebrities and their hangers-on and the people who gain their own sort of limited celebrity by being with celebrities uh, and the, the, the fever that Howard has for sports betting um, and how it destroys his life. Uh, you know, it's, it's a cautionary tale that um, is sort of wrapped up in this ugly package. So, uh, did I like the movie? Yes, but it's one of those films that I never, ever have to see again. Uh, I Do I recommend you see it? Sure, if you want to, go right ahead. You may love it. You may think it's the greatest thing ever, uh, but I, I've seen it, and uh, after I talk about it here now, unless somebody asks me about it, I'll probably never mention it again. Um, yeah, it's, it, and granted, not every movie has to have happy endings and pretty people and, and friendly folks and stuff like that. I mean, not every movie can be, uh, you know, the Mr. Rogers story, but uh, there could have been just a speck of light in this film, and there wasn't. So, it's a wonderfully made movie that kept me interested, but at the same time, I never have to hear about it again. And that's why I am giving Uncut Gems three stars. Go to StanTheMovieMan.com to read my complete review of Uncut Gems. Uh, please check out my podcast that I do with my wife. It's called Comedy, Tragedy, Marriage. It's a podcast about life, love, and entertainment. And you can find that wherever you get your podcasts. Follow me on Twitter, at Movie Man Stan. And please send emails to me if you'd like. StanTheMovieMan123 at gmail.com. Until next time. Later.